Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll configure static NAT to make a translation between a public IP and one of my private IP in internal network. Let me show you the lab topology which I'm going to use in this lab guide. As you can see, I have the DMZ segment with the network 192.168.21.0/24. This is our Windows virtual machine. I have installed and configured the IIS service on this virtual machine. So basically, this is our internal web server which I have placed in DMZ area. Uh, let me show you the IP address information about that VM. This is our DMZ VM. Let's open command prompt. And let's type command ipconfig slash all. The IP address assigned to this virtual machine is 192.168.21.5 and the gateway's IP address is 192.168.21.1 which is the IP address of checkpoint security gateway and the DNS server address is 8.8.8.8. Let's type command ping 192.168.21.1 and press enter key. As you can see, I'm getting reply from the gateway. Now I'm going to type command ping and then I'm going to specify the DNS server's IP address 8.8.8.8. .8 you can see the ping request timeout as this VM is not connected to the internet. Keep in mind the checkpoint firewall is already connected with the internet. Now let's take a brief overview information about a static NAT. In static NAT, each internal IP address is translated to a different public IP address. The firewall can allow external traffic to access internal resources. Static NAT is generally used for web, email and other application servers that require routable public IP addresses. These servers will be routable to the internet but will also retain their internal IP addresses for internal access. Uh, let me show the topology image again. In this lab guide, I'm using 172.18.72.0 network as a public IP address. To test static NAT, I have created one more virtual machine with the IP address 172.18.72.11, which I'm using as a computer from the internet. Uh, let me show the IP configuration. Let's type command ipconfig. Press enter key. Only ipconfig, let's type ipconfig slash all. Fine. Uh, you can verify the IP address 172.18.72.11. I haven't assigned the IP address of default gateway or DNS servers. So this is the lab setup which I am using to show you how we can configure static NAT in Checkpoint Firewall RET1. Uh, let's jump to a Windows 10 virtual machine where I have installed Smart Console. Okay, first of all, I'm going to create one network object for our host web server. Uh, let's click on Home. Let's click on New. Select Host. Uh, let's specify object name. I'm giving name DMZ web server and here I'm going to specify the IP version 4 address. Uh, let me show the topology again. The IP address is going to be 192.168.21.5. Okay. 192.168.21.5. Fine. So at the same time you can configure static NAT but right now I'm not going to configure static NAT at this point. We just want to create host object for our DMZ web server. Let's click on OK. Perfect. Let's click on Network Objects. Click on Host. And here we can see our DMZ web server host. Fine. Uh, let me show you the access control and NAT policies in my lab setup. And for that, I'm going to click on Security Policies. Uh, these are the policies which I have created in the last lab guide. Uh, let's click on NAT. Right now, we don't have any rules. See, there are total two types of NAT rules. One is automatic and the second one is manual. See, when you configure static or hide NAT, 
the required NAT rules policies will be created automatically on your checkpoint firewall. If you want, you can also create manual NAT rule as well and that we are going to see in the next lab guide. At this point, we can confirm that we don't have any automatically generated machine static rule. Let's select our network object. And in your case, you have to select the network object on which you want to configure static NAT. Let's right click on it and select add it. Then you need to click on NAT tab. First of all, you need to select the checkbox to add automatic address translation rules. Under translation method, this time we need to select static. And here we need to specify the IP version for address which we want to translate. In my case, I'm going to specify 172.18.72.3. Remember, this is a test lab created in VirtualBox and that's why we have the IP address from the private IP address range. In your case, here you need to type the public IP address which you want to translate. Fine. Then uh, you need to select the security gateway on which you want to install the policy. So on install on gateway, I'm going to click on this button and select our security gateway, which is MBN R81-GW01. Then we simply need to click on this OK button. And once you click on this OK button, the required automatically generated rules will be created here under automatically generated rules machine static NAT. And here you can see total two rules are created automatically. Now I'm going to create access control rule to allow HTTP traffic to pass through our checkpoint to firewall. And for that, I'm going to click on policy. Let's uh, right click here and select new section below. Let's add title. Allow access to DMZ web server. Let's right click here and create new rule below this section title. Let's give name. Under source, let's click on this plus icon. Uh, actually source is going to be any we need to define the destination and here we need to add uh, the object which we have created dmz or web server so source is going to be any and the destination is going to be our dmz web server uh, services is going to be i'm adding icmp echo request so we can check ping as well and then i'm going to define http uh, in your case, if your internal web server is using HTTPS, then you can also add HTTPS protocol as well. Fine. Uh, action is going to be accept. You want to generate logs. And let's click on this plus sign to select our security gateway. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to save these changes. So let's click on publish. And click on publish. Now I'm going to click on install policy to push the policies to the security gateway. Let's click on install. Let's click on details. Perfect. Uh, let me show you the topology again. Uh, to test this static net, I'll use this Windows 7 computer with the IP address 172.18.72.11, which is the same as our checkpoint gateway's internet interface IP address. Let's go to that VM. Uh, let me again show you the IP address, which is 172.18.72.11. Fine. Uh, which is in the same range as my firewall's uh, public IP address. Now first I'm going to check ping to the IP address 172.18.72.3. Now type ping 172.18.72.3. As you can see we are receiving reply from the IP address. Okay, now I'm going to open uh, Internet Explorer. Let's type the URL HTTP colon double slash 172.18.72.3 and press enter key. As you can see, I'm successfully accessing the internal web server with the help of static net. Uh, let's go back to the command prompt. I want to show you something as well. Uh, 
I'm going to type command netstate hyphen n to see the established connection from this machine. Now press enter key. You can see one session is established. Uh, this is the local address or you can say local socket 172.1e.72.11 colon 49158 and the remote computer's address is 172.1a.72.3 colon 80 and the state is established. I'm going to check the same thing on our DMZ web server. In the command prompt, I'm going to type the same command. Let's do type n and let's press enter key. Okay, uh, let me again access the website. Fine. Let's again. Uh, let me close it. Let's again uh, open Internet Explorer. Fine. We need to check this, run this command quickly. Okay, fine. We have the session. Let's go back to the DMZ server. Let's type nasdaq hyphen n and press enter key. And this time, as you can see, uh, we have a session between 172.18.72.11 and the local private IP address 182.168.21.5 with the local port 80 and the remote port is there 49161. If we check here, we have a session from this local computer to remote computer on using the port number 49161. Okay. And after seeing this, uh, I can confirm that the static net is working perfectly fine in our TS lab environment. I also want to show you the logs. So let's jump to a Windows 10 virtual machine. Click on logs and let's click on refresh. Okay, here we have, I think this is the latest log. Let's double click on it. Let's talk about the traffic source 172.18.72.11. Here we can see the source port number, which is 49161. If you check the port number, this is the, we are talking about. Fine. Service is going to be HTTP on TCP port 80. Interface ETH3. Let me show you the topology. We are talking about this interface. Traffic connection direction is incoming and that destination is DMZ web server. Now this is the name of that network host object which we have created with the IP address 172.18.72.3. Policy action accepted. And access rule allow access to DMZ web server. This is the rule number four. Fine. And here you can see uh, related to NAT, the second rule is coming into the effect. If you click on it, we are talking about in this rule. So if source is any and the destination is DMZ web server, translated destination address is going to be 192.168.21.5. So in this lab guide, we have learned the steps to configure static net in checkpoint firewall RT1. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.